Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about the situation with DC Comics. Uh, the colorist of Superman has quit. Uh, he's quit and he said it's because DC Comics is too woke. The comic's too woke and he's tired of the SHIT going on in comics right now. Comic book characters being ruined. Uh, tired of the fact that Superman's motto has changed from truth, justice in the American way to truth, justice and a better tomorrow. Superman replaced with his son, uh, who's got a got a, a male love interest with purple hair that's an activist. I it was pink. Uh, maybe it's pink. Ah, Puce. Puce. Okay, we'll meet in the middle. That should be his name, Bruce Puce. <laughs> no, it should not be anybody's name. Every anyway. every time I look at you, I think of Bruce Wayne. But I can't have Bruce Wayne, so I've got Bruce Puce. There you go. All right, uh, we're going to talk about that, because th this is a really interesting situation that has bled out into the mainstream media. Normally, you know, when there's drama uh, associated with the comic book industry or individual comic book creators, it doesn't hit the mainstream. Mm -hmm. This one hit the mainstream. But they're gonna say you're looking at Fox News, which I don't even watch Fox News, but it's not, it's Newsweek too. Newsweek's got it, uh, we got Screen Rants got it. Um, I think The Independent had it, there were several. See, I think that's more pink than purple. Okay, several. I call several it K-pop boyfriend. Uh, Daily Mail, Independent, Screen Rant, Lad Bible, Metro, uh, Yahoo News. I mean, it's all over the damn place. So it's so funny because some of the comic book media outlets are trying to downplay all this. Oh, surprise, surprise. And it actually helped blow it up. I'm surprised there's comic book out, uh, outlets still anyway because, like, it's calling them the, the toilet. It is, well, uh, yeah. Do you have an audience? Um, they talk more about other stuff not related to comics. Yeah, I so, would think. Uh, anyway. Toys and video games and drama. Lots of drama. The drama is great for clicks. It's okay, it, we talk about drama too. Sites like Bleeding Cool. Uh, drama is, is definitely great for clicks. But I think it originated, I think the story originated from Bounding in the Comics and several other places uh, picked it up. I have no idea. You have to explain this whole thing to me because this is all something you follow and I don't. Yeah, I, I've seen a lot of people talking about it. And, uh, you know, I, I wonder how many comic book creators are going to leave because of a lot of the changes being made to characters. We know some quietly leave, but I don't think as many have just like rage quit you know, DC or Marvel, some of them were forced out. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, we talked about that in a previous video, you know, talking about um, blacklisting in comics and the comics gate situation and all that. And some of them were just forced out. Uh, they try to claim that that's not the case. It's like, oh, no, we're not pushing anybody out. You know, the fact that the you know phone hasn't hasn't rang for you since, you know, the 2016 election is just purely a coincidence. You know what? You know, they could all, they they all just walk then. Just you know, walk. it works for other groups. And, you know, if you want to make them bad, attribute to something else, you know, and say it's because they were, you they made you feel inferior because of whatever reason, something that Twitter likes. Yeah. And then they'll back you even if, you know. So I guess, I guess my thing is, you know, if you're not making much money working for Marvel or, D Marvel or DC, you have to constantly tow the line working for Marvel or DC. Uh, Marvel and DC are on, I think they have a very limited future, mm. especially DC. They've got this discovery merger coming up. So many of their top shelf creators left for Substack because it was the first lifeboat that was available. Yeah, and there's rumors that they're going to get rid of the floppies in general. Uh, we have heard this, yes, uh, outside of uh, Ethan Van Skyver. We've actually heard it from another source came to us and said, hey, I'm hearing the floppies are going to end here real soon. Um, so I don't know. I would say now is a good time to exit. If you can exit and go do your own thing, you're probably better off. We're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 238,000 subs. Woohoo! Uh, thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciated. Uh, this one, uh, I'll go with Newsweek. Um, again, bounding in the comics. I might go back there. They have more quotes, but I think it originated from them. So check out the original. And then we'll go to the Bleeding Cool's take on it. Uh, their take oh, is like... Oh, Rich Johnson? Rich Johnson. He's like yeah. the inquirer of comics book news. Huh? He is. He's he the is. Rita Skeeter. Of, yeah, we of always comics. we made that joke. I mean, actually, it was so funny to me because for years, everybody like they couldn't stand Rich Johnson. Like they're like, you know, he was like literally the inquirer. Mm -hmm. Stay away from him. And now they're like, you know, we oh, can use him. Yes, he, exactly. He is a useful idiot. They will use him to take out their enemies, and then they'll eventually turn on him too. Well, you kind of did. <laughs> so, you got anyway, paid though. I got what I wanted. Anyway, I got so. what I wanted. Anyway, uh, Newsweek Superman artist quits DC Comics, says they're ruining characters. 
A colorist who says he works for DC Comics has confirmed he quit working with the company because he disagrees with the changes being made to Superman and other characters. I think it's uh, Gabe El Taib. El Taib. And oh, he sounds like a, a you know a white supremacist. Hater, he does. You know, he does. totally. An artist with the comic book company has notably railed against the decision to remove his patriotic slogan, The American Way. The artist announced his exit from DC on a YouTube live stream with former DC Comics worker Ethan Van Sciver. Oh, okay. This That's is what, the problem. This is what it is. You know. You okay, know, this all makes sense now. So what's going to happen, right? Uh, what's going to happen? This is going to be the Streisand effect because the media is going to try to smack this guy down. All these news outlets are going to pick up on this and people are going to be like, who's this guy? Who's Ethan Van Skyver? Oh, let's go buy their comics and see what the big deal is. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what, this is what happened with diversity in comics. Uh, Richard Meyer, um, he wound up doing like three or $400,000 on Jawbreakers, a book that probably would have struggled to hit $30,000 before he blew up and all the media outlets were like, oh, what's this comics gate thing? And mm -hmm. uh, so good luck with that. I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of this shit, El Taib said on the podcast in relation to the changes, but he confirmed that he would work out the rest of his contract with the company. Well, apparently that's that's not going to happen. They're going to recolor the whole Oh, really? Whole yeah, we'll show protest. you. <sighs> Finishing out my contract with DC, I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of them ruining these characters. They don't have a right to do this. Well, they kind of do actually have a right to do it, but it's not, it's not a smart business move. I still can't get over this. Like, his nose... That's not how noses. But I mean, technically they have a right. Technically they do. But the thing is, is that these characters predate their current uh, IP holders. And same with, you know, Marvel and, and, you know, Disney and Star Wars and all that. There's just not a lot of respect for, I guess, I guess you could say legally, legally, they have the right to do it. Morally, ethically, they should probably keep characters intact. Right, because you have fans that, you know, support it and make new characters. But if they don't mean anything to it's, you. Right. That's you know. that's that you can sum it all up there. If they don't mean anything to you, you could do whatever. It's just it's just a uh, you know, a way to get your your agendas put in. Speaking about the change to Superman's motto, uh, he said what really pisses me off was saying truth, justice in a better world. Fuck that. It was truth, justice in the American way. I mean, My, it's been that way for, for years and years. Uh yeah. He continued, my grandpa almost died in World War II. We don't have a right to destroy shit that people died for to give us. It's a bunch of fucking nonsense. He added, they call us bigots and racists and shit. I would ask them, find me in the effing mainstream, not on the fringes. One effing book, one effing t-shirt, one movie that says that leftism is bad and conservatism is good. Find it for me. They effing won't. They're not letting anyone have a voice. They're effing bigots. Well, that is, I, you know, here's my thing about this. You know, they go on about inclusion, they go on about diversity and acceptance, and they are like the most bullying group people, they, 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 not everyone, the extremists, I'm of course, I'm talking about extremists, mm -hmm. that I've ever seen. And, you know, for all their, it's basically, it's basically everything that you can use you of, they themselves do. And, and that's what I have a problem with. He said it's been bottled up for five years. Uh, the move comes after DC Comics made headlines last week for deciding to make the iconic superhero character bisexual. No, disclaimer. It's not Clark Kent. No, and they keep doing that. Like Newsweek's trying to say, oh, it, it's no. No, it's not Clark Kent. It's his son. Uh, DC Comics said, John Kent, son of Clark Kent. See, because the headline needs to read, Superman's gay. No, Robin's gay. A Robin is gay. There were many Robins. Mm -hmm. Or bisexual, sorry. One one Robin is bisexual. Well, currently. Just give them, give them another couple of years. They, they all will be. Yeah. Uh, but, but I'm just saying, like, that's how they get the headlines. Oh, my God. You know, we killed so and so, and then it's always like, oh, yeah, it wasn't the actual. Hey, so -and -so. I'm just offended that Robin isn't actually a bird. I know, right? How dare they? All right. Um. Anyway, yeah, it's uh, John Kent, son of Clark Kent and Lois Lane, becomes romantically involved with a, an activist journalist named Jay Nakamura. The issue: Superman, son of Kal El, number five, will be available. Go buy it. I've always said. Everyone needs heroes and everyone deserves to see themselves in their heroes. And I'm very grateful to DC and Warner Brothers, said Tom Taylor, writer of the series in the press release. Does he like a K is he like a K-pop or J-pop fan? I because I, I, it seems like it <laughs> anyway. It's almost like a straight guy trying to write gay. Like, what what do I think gay people look like? I don't know. They all yeah, have purple well, hair. I, I don't know. They're I all don't even, I don't even think that hair. much into it. I just I I mean to me. <sighs> I think there's money reasons why they changed it. And I don't necessarily think it's always a bad reason, but 
I just think that this, the media is feeding into it. It's yeah. bullshit. I think that people, they, they have to stop changing characters. If you want other characters, then just make new characters. You know, it's not that hard. Um, as far as DC having a right to do so, they do have a right to do so, sadly. Um, is it the smartest thing to do? No. No. Um, but, you know, so he said he was going to quit and they fired him, apparently, or they they just recoloring it all, you said. Uh, yeah, I think they're going to recolor it all uh, coming from... You don't want him touching any of it. How dare he? Ew, he's going to get his man cuties all over Superman. And they, okay, when you put a DC Pride rainbow on, that's, a, that's another pet peeve of mine. And I, I you know... They always throw these rainbow things on stuff because, and they're trying, they're basically trying to cash in on the, the people they're trying. They said they're trying to help. They're just, yeah, they're trying yeah. to take, they're, they're just, they want your money. It's, look, this is a corporation. The end of the day, same with Disney. Like, we, we've seen how Two Faced Disney is. We did a video talking about Gravity Falls, and, and Alex Hirsch was angry because he was like, wait, you wouldn't let me put gay characters in Gravity Falls, but you're going to pander to Russia and China, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, but you're going to sell all kinds of Disney fied. Uh, Pride merch with rainbows on. With it. rainbows, they literally yeah. have pop vinyls that are Disney characters that are rainbowed. I mean, and it's, just, not, it's just, not in Shanghai Disneyland. It's just, it's just it's, <laughs> yeah, right. It's just a ploy to 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 say like, what market do we need more money out of? Yeah, they used to they used to chase the Christian market. Now Universal still has a, a Christian rock concert, but Disney for many many years. Uh, you know, until it became out of vogue, they actually had uh, yeah, Christian concerts. Everybody concert forgets years. that, but they also yeah. had gay days. So, I yeah. mean, it's, it, it, I just looked at it always as hey, they're just appealing to different demographics. They have yep. fans in all these demographics. So, why not? And I never had a problem with it. Everybody's money's green, except for exactly. those Bitcoin freaks. No, no, no. Now they have rainbows on them because you have to make sure that they know it's for them. Because don't you know? On the Bitcoin? No, no, no. On, on oh. all this stuff because, because LGBTQ plus people won't know it's for them unless they put a rainbow on it. Because they're, they're they, thank God they're there to tell them what's for them and what isn't. Is that like the ESRB? What's, oh, oh, where it tells you the yeah, yeah, it tells you like the mm -hmm. rating. Yeah, see this. This, this is, one's rated gay, guys. It's okay it's to buy much. this. That's I can buy it is. Or, or it's a, kind of insulting. Or a straight person picks it up and goes like, oh, this one's rated gay. This is not for I me. I can't read it. I'm not allowed to. I can't. It's I got mean, a rainbow on it. Not for me. They don't want my money. They want, um, you know, it's only for people that are, you know, LGBTQ. It's <laughs> it's really stupid when you think about the whole thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's going to be delayed a week. Time to be recolored. Uh, gay has criticized the comic series on a Comicsgate video stream. Just look, uh, just as the book was receiving mass media saturation over the new Superman, John Kent, son of Lois Lane, Clark Kent, again, different Superman, not the same Superman. Being a young bisexual man in Superman, uh, Gabe is more concerned about the use of the comic uh, for a new slogan for John Kent, truth, justice, and a better world. Yeah, he didn't seem to really be upset about the other part. I don't think he was, yeah, he didn't really get into that. I think he was just like, why the hell do we have to change Superman's motto? Uh, and apparently the... The reason for it could maybe possibly potentially be trademark reasons. That makes um, sense. You know, well, Gabe announced he was going to leave DC Comics as soon as he'd finished his contract. Circumstances made it seem possible he would not be coloring that issue. Uh, yeah, because wasn't the word put out there that anybody associated with Comicsgate on any level would be would be blacklisted forever from DC yeah. Comics? You know, God forbid we 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 say publicly, hey, I don't like that you're changing Superman's slogan. I'm sorry. So we don't know if it's being recolored. It's a question mark on there, which is fine. You know, I get it for a headline. I get it. But they always throw shit at us when we do that. Um, but they said, oh, it's delayed a week, which means could you, someone's going to color the whole book in a week? I've done it. I know. I've done it. It's horrible. You've done it less than a week. I've done it less than a week. That was that was like Mickey Mouse stuff. Right. So this is was, a lot harder. No, literally, it was a Mickey Mouse comic. And this it is was, gonna be yeah. more difficult. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot um, more difficult. So anyway, uh, it could also be the damn paper shortage. If there's too. a lot of things that could be, you know, a reason for it. So there we go. Um, a lot of assumptions there, Rich. Yeah. So this is really interesting, though. That it's it's hit all the mainstream media outlets. Uh, so now everybody's gonna be like, "What's this Comicscape thing about?" What's this all yeah, about? Yeah, I don't know. Because it always <laughs> you know? makes me mad. Even if you aren't Comicsgate, because you call something out, that yeah. you're automatically Comicsgate. You've just made the list. Well, you're automatically a bully and a bigot then. If you if you agree with, you know, I don't know. I, I'm just tired of it. I'm just, I mean, most people in the middle, like us, are just sitting there like, would you, would you just shut up? Well, you know you're what? both I, pretty. Shut up. You know what I've got a short list of? Hmm. Websites I want to buy. I'm just saying. 
Oh, I wouldn't touch that with a 10 foot pole. If I could get it cheap enough, I would. I wouldn't, well you could make it, put like a toilet paper ad on it, leave it sit. <laughs> I would not touch that with a 10 foot pole. Snap it. I, no. Goes on the gauntlet. <laughs> Snap I it. I just, no. I would not spend money. I would not give a penny to that shit. Anyway. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this one yes. up. Yes. All right. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.